We're following up on a tense situation in northwest Portland from overnight after a man forced his way into an occupied apartment. It is 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Police tell us the man was armed and destroyed a lot of what was inside. Our Liz Birch joins us live from Central Precinct downtown. Liz, talk us through what you're learning about what happened here. Well, police tell us the man was able to get inside by climbing onto the roof of the apartment complex, jumping down onto a balcony and then going inside a unit where he barricaded himself. Fortunately, the people who were inside were able to escape. I was like, man, it looks like every cop in the state is out here. A man who lives nearby was out walking his dog on NATO Parkway when he noticed police cars on the street. He and his neighbors were concerned. There were a few people who were who live in the area who were walking up and down the sidewalks. Sure. Uh, who were like, uh, what's going on? PBB tells us around 9 p.m. a suspect climbed into an occupied apartment on the second floor. They say people in that unit got out. Then the suspect armed himself with knives and a hammer. Police tell us he then started breaking windows, furniture, and appliances. They also say he threw furniture out the windows. You can see a fridge hanging out the window in this picture from police. Police say their special emergency reaction team and crisis negotiation team responded. They evacuated surrounding apartments. The neighbor we talked to says he saw specialty police units surrounding the area. Uh, SWAT, bomb squad, uh, uh, special reactions team, uh, K-9 units, wow. just all over the place. Uh, asked our security guard when I went back in and he said that uh, apparently somebody over here uh, was uh, in a standoff with the police. Uh, was either threatening to kill himself or had the police kill him one way or the other. Mm -hmm. PBB says after about four hours of negotiation, the man agreed to come out. Then an ambulance took him to the hospital because he had some self-inflicted injuries. They say no one else was hurt. Still a lot I'm working to learn about this story. I asked police if the man who entered the apartment knew the people who lived there. They haven't been able to answer that yet. We're also waiting on the identity of that suspect and, of course, the big question, why he did this. Live in downtown Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.